What a win for these New York Knicks, beating the Miami Heat 100 to 98. This was the game of the year. An absolute collapse from the Knicks in the third quarter, but it doesn't matter because they bounce back with a gigantic fourth quarter quarter coming all the way back Jalen Brunson Emmanuel quickly RJ Barrett with a bunch of clutch shots the defense stepped up when we needed them to the most wow I am at a loss for words that was a thriller for these New York Knicks going up by one point at half we were feeling good in the third quarter Felt like an absolute collapse by these New York Knicks. And we know they had to go out there and play their best ball when it mattered the most. Outscoring the Heat 29-11 to to get the W at Madison Square Garden in the in-season tournament to stay alive. Wow. What a win. Folks, I want to hear your thoughts of this win from the New York Knicks down below in the comment section. Love to hear what you guys have to say. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button as well. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're inching close to 11,000 subscribers here on Knicks Media. I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support. Let's get further into this game because Jalen Brunson continues to do Jalen Brunson things in the clutch. He just is... He gives me such a sense of calm, and that is my favorite thing about Jalen Brunson. When it's the fourth quarter, I honestly, we can, be, we can be honest with ourselves. There's not really a lot of players on the Knicks that we feel comfortable with in the clutch. Jalen Brunson is a player. Every time the ball's in his hands in the fourth quarter, I can take a big breath and say, you know what? I feel calm. I feel confident in number 11 to go out there and get a bucket for us. And he just does it time in and time out. He has been sensational for these New York Knicks, getting that mid-range pull-up to really give the Knicks the lead. R.J. Barrett with the and one. R.J. Barrett with the three-pointer as well. In the fourth quarter, Emmanuel quickly. Josh Hart with a lot of clutch rebounds. Isaiah Hartenstein playing big-time defense. Had that crazy contested dunk on Bam Adebayo. Met him at the rim to force the missed dunk. I mean, there's so much that happened in that three-minute period that I'm trying to recap in my brain real quick, and it was sensational. Emmanuel quickly with a phenomenal game off the bench for these New York Knicks, man. Let's get into the box score real quick because Jalen Brunson led the way with 24 points, 10 of 16 from the field. IQ off the bench had 20 points of his own, a lot of clutch shots from him. RJ Barrett with 18 points. Mitchell Robinson was in foul trouble tonight, but Isaiah Hardenstein stepped in and played a big 28 minutes and his defense was really, really felt. Julius Randle did not have a good game. I mean, he had 13, 7, and 8, but he did have a lot of turnovers, and he was really struggling, and I think that third quarter uh, was a big issue with him, in my opinion. But listen, man, these Knicks... The one thing you can say about them is they don't die. It does not matter what the deficit is. They go out there and they look absolutely flat in the third quarter, and they go down by 15 or something points, and they do not flinch. They know what they can do when their defense really hones in. They crash the rebounds, and they play fast. They feed off the energy off the garden crowd, and that's exactly what this Knicks team did. They don't quit until the final whistle, and that is the identity of of this Knicks squad that I've grown to love this season. Now, this is a really big win. You know, throw the NBA season tournament out for a second, just in terms of the seating and the, and the presence of being able to go up against the Miami Heat, who bounced the Knicks out of the playoffs last year to get that W in their first matchup of the season on your home court. A team that has been red hot in the Miami Heat these past few weeks. They were on a winning streak heading into this game, and the Knicks have been playing really good ball, and of course they fall to the Minnesota Timberwolves in their final game of their uh away stretch uh, and they got blown out in the second half by Minnesota so it was big for them to get home and go up against a really really good Eastern uh, Conference team in the Miami Heat and now the Knicks are 9-6 and six, one game back from the Miami Heat who are 10-6 and six, or half a game back if you will uh, so this is a big win for so many different reasons when you're this early in the season these are the types of emotional wins that can give the Knicks, you know, locker room, the coaching staff, just a boost of optimism, something that can really hang their hats on and say, you know what, we can win any game that we play. We don't care who we go up against, and it doesn't matter what the score is heading into the fourth quarter. That's why you don't quit. That's why you keep the foot on the gas and just keep firing away those threes, attacking the paint with aggression, and stick to the script of the Tom Thibodeau-led team that I've been growing to really appreciate with the squad, man. Hitting your free throws, attacking the paint, scrappy for every single loose ball, crashing for rebounds and moving the ball at a high efficiency man this was a great great W for the Knicks the fact that they were able to strap up like they did and that he got ice cold in the fourth quarter and the Knicks took full advantage of that this is just one of those wins that we will remember early on in the season that could propel them to really make some noise in the NBA season leading into the uh 
New Year's because I feel like the first quarter of the season is really important. And if you go into the standings real quick, I'm curious to see where the Knicks are at. So the Knicks are tied in for the seventh seed with the Indiana Pacers at nine and six. We got the Heat, Sixers, Milwaukee. How about the Orlando Magic with the second seed at 11 and five? No one saw that one coming. And then the Boston Celtics are in first place. So the Eastern Conference is really getting jammed up. And these are the wins that you got to have against a team like the Miami Heat. So folks, sound off in the comment section. Let me know your overall thoughts and a recap of that game. You know, the first half, you think this is going to go down to the wire. Right, You're like, wow, this is going to be one of those classic Knicks heat battles that goes down to the wire. And then the third quarter comes around, you're just like, oh my God, another second half collapse. And then the fourth quarter, fourth quarter comes, all of a sudden, quickly he's hitting the shots. Brunson's waking up. RJ, I mean, you're just like, it's a 10-point game. They go on a little run, and the Knicks come out with a W. Woo, that feels good. As a Jets fan, I was not going to be happy. If the Dolphins beat the Jets and the Heat beat the Knicks and Miami sweeps New York City in one day. We had to get one of them, and I'm happy it was you, Knicks. Let's go. Go New York, go New York, go. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's freaking go. I'm pumped up right now. Peace out, guys. Let's go.